Well, you demanded it, and I ignored you as long as I could. But the time has come to explore strange new projects, to seek out new wood forms and something that rhymes with civilizations, to boldly go where no woodworker has gone before. As you know, here at the Stumpy Nubs Workshop, behind the scenes, we actually build things out of wood that aren't shop related. We're not all about jigs and tools here. Some are traditional, others are our own unique designs. So now that we've spent two years helping you to upgrade your shops, we're gonna start showing you what you can do with all those fancy tools and jigs. We're starting a series of weekend woodworking projects, stuff the average woodworker can build in a small shop without a bunch of expensive tools. But we're going to use our own unique designs, the stuff that you're not gonna see on the other woodworking shows. We'll still be making jigs and homemade tools and machines. In fact, we have half a dozen of those already planned for the coming months. But these weekend projects will be shorter videos with more footage of the actual build process. And the format's gonna be a little different too. I don't know, I suppose instead of telling you, I should just show you. So let's sit back and watch the first edition of Weekend Woodworking with Stumpy in the Stash. <laughs> You know how many rechargeable electronic devices I have in my house? I keep a list of them here on my smartphone. 27. And that's just the ones I use every day. I need one of those organizer charging dude heads. You know, I was all excited when Stumpy told me what we're going to make this week. I've been wanting one of those things too. Something compact, something I could put on the end of my table, or on the corner of my desk. Not just for my cell phones, I like to put my digital camera, the wife's tablet, Bluetooth accessories, all kinds of stuff. Most importantly, I want it all organized. No tangled mess of wires and cords. I don't even want to see wires and cords. This design took some thought. I want a sort of Art Deco look. I love Art Deco. It was the ultra modern style of a hundred years ago. You look at uh, the Empire State Building or the Chrysler Building, a lot of curves and layers. I want to bring a little bit of that into this project. One of the biggest challenges was choosing the right material. Three quarter stock is easy to find, but that's going to look just a bit bulky. Half inch is much better, so I was thinking we resaw some hardwood on the bandsaw. Eh, it's a lot of work, and I want to keep this thing simple. Some good quality plywood, uh, with some nice even layers. It could look pretty nice on a project like this. It's not a traditional look, but you know, an electronics valet isn't exactly a traditional project now, is it? What's a valet? You definitely want a good blade for this project. So Stumpy brought out a brand new one, one we've been wanting to try out. Oh, that titanium blade? Yeah, it was pretty good. Uh, it's got all those features that you see on premium blades, but to me it's all about the results. I'm going to need a little more time with it to make a final determination, but it cut through that plywood with the veneer, nice and smooth with no chip out, so that was pretty impressive. Now my first choice for the joinery around this project was box joints, but rabbits, they'll work too. Oh yeah, rabbits are great. They can double your glue surface, so they're always a good choice. In fact, if I was going to stick two bunnies together, I'd definitely use rabbit joint. Did he really just say that? Small project like this that's just going to sit in a desk or something and never move, I wouldn't worry too much about reinforcing the joinery. But I don't know, you might want to throw a biscuit or a dowel in here and there, especially on the butt joints. <laughs> butt joints. I like to use brad nails, it's the really fine ones without the heads. See, they're almost impossible to see. I actually talked Stumpy into buying some self adhesive felt lining from the craft store. Kind of class it up a bit. Of course, we spent an hour arguing over the color. I like red and he likes neon green. You definitely want to sand this sucker well, especially on the edges of the plywood. 
And I like to finish up with a little water-based poly. It's easy to apply, it dries fast, and the fumes don't make me feel funny. It was a really great project. It was easy to build, and it'll be quite useful. The only problem is, everybody that sees it, they want me to build one for them. Yeah, Stash needs to know when to say no, or I'm busy, or I never liked you anyway, get out of my face, a bunch of freeloaders. No one ever asked me anything. Anyway, if you want to build one, you can pick up the plans over at StumpyNubs.com. And you can also find all sorts of woodworking goodness over there. It's pretty much where I spend most of all of my free time. And if you like our new weekend woodworking project videos, please click the thumbs up button below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.